All right, guys, this is your response video uh, for the uh, live session that we had this morning. Uh, this video, we're focusing on your science. So it was really good. We had a really good discussion about endangered and extinction, and what we think them terms mean. And just to re-clarify really for you, endangered is the term we give to a living thing. It doesn't have to just be an animal. It can be a plant as well. But endangered means that that living thing is at risk of becoming extinct if uh, the current trend continues. So for example, the orangutan is an, is an endangered species because of um, its home in the forest is, is being, is, uh, because of deforestation, their, their habitat is being destroyed. Therefore, uh, they're gonna have to find somewhere new and they may not be able to adapt in time to this new change. Therefore, they're going to become endangered because you know the, the, the population is going to be going down. We had a look at hedgehogs with urbanization. Hedgehogs love to roam up to about two to five miles a night looking for food. And then all of a sudden, their habitat has changed because we've built a load of houses on, on, on their habitat and put fences up. So now that, that, that area that they're used to roaming around in has dramatically decreased and therefore they're unable to then socialize with other hedgehogs. So the population is going down because they're not breeding and they're, they're dying off a lot easier because they can't find enough food. So um, even though as humans, we discussed that we do these things because we think they're good for us, you know, deforestation so we can put farms down and urbanization so people have got places to live uh, we are actually uh, destroying the lives of, of other animals and plants in the process and uh, in some places we are making them endangered because if we continue that animal will no longer exist and that takes us on to our next key word which is extinction extinction is when a living thing doesn't have well doesn't exist anymore it's, it's no longer here and some examples, obviously, the, the dinosaurs, but there are no dinosaurs roaming the earth anymore. They are extinct. Um, and there are other animals that uh, in the past that have become extinct uh, because of human uh, contribution. Um, so we, just, we talked about them two key words in particular, and then we talked about deforestation, urbanization. Um, another good one that was mentioned was littering. That didn't actually come up in the, in, in the PowerPoints yesterday, but littering also <coughs> can endanger uh, species because, especially in the sea, I remember a couple of years ago, there was a big, big thing about us polluting the sea by putting in um, plastic bottles in the sea. And that plastic breaks up into small little parts that uh, the animals in the ocean are uh, eating. And obviously it's, it's killing them off as well. So we're endangering the lives of of species in the, in the ocean as well. Uh, so that was really interesting to hear. We also, spoke, we also spoke about sort of electricity as well. Um, it was quite interesting because even though we are put going more electric in the sounds of cars and things like that, a good question was raised was, well, how do we make this electricity? Surely we are burning a lot more in making electricity. And in a sense we were, but now we use more cleaner energy where we're using wind turbines, solar power, um, uh, nuclear energy can produce more. It may be a bit difficult to get rid of toxic waste, which is about, you know, a negative about nuclear energy. However, nuclear energy is quite clean and it, um, it, can, it can power many things uh, a great deal more than, than like a wind turbine. Um, so you wouldn't need as many of them, I suppose. Um, but, um, it was interesting to have that little conversation and we had some good conversations about that and i did set a challenge to everyone to say look well just imagine we're, we're so dependent on electricity now try to go a day without using electricity and i know for sure that i would struggle with that so um, uh, <laughs> if anyone wants to give that a go then we'll try it but maybe not for a whole day maybe for about an hour see how you go um <clears throat> So that's the lesson over and, and done with. It was really interesting to have them conversations in it. It was good because we were able to clear up what them two key words, endangered and extinction mean. So hopefully you've got a better idea of that. Right then guys, see you in the next video, bye-bye.